guys good morning so today i'm gonna be doing a bit of a vlog for you all because i did a vlog style video i want to say like a week and a half two weeks ago it was my going to be an m and home bargains and you guys really really enjoyed it and i thought you know what it's saturday currently saturday the 27th of feb um, and it's a really, really sunny day out. Like, I don't know what my lighting is kind of showing you right now, but it is so sunny and nice out today. It was really lovely yesterday as well. I went on such a long walk and I thought, you know what? Why not do a bit of a vlog today showing you my sort of day-to-day -day life in lockdown, what I get up to. So yeah, I've just got ready. Um, and you know when you sort of, you wake up and you're like, I want to get ready. Um, I want to sort myself out. You know, I'm going to put some makeup on. I'm going to get changed. I'm going to have a shower, do my hair, whatever. I've done all that. Um, and now I'm like... I don't really know what I've gotten ready for. <laughs> um, today's task for me is gonna be to tidy my room because my room is a state. And then I'm gonna have a takeaway tonight. One thing I haven't really touched upon recently is the fact that I am in a calorie deficit diet at the minute. So I'm currently trying to do calorie deficit diet, which is basically where you burn more calories than you eat. Um, but don't worry, I'm not gonna like say what calories I'm eating or anything like that because I don't want to like trigger people I know that this sort of topic can be quite triggering I'm not going to bother saying anything like that in this video but I want people to know that I am in a healthy deficit um, and I'm not restricting myself whatsoever I'm eating the foods that I love I'm just being a little bit more um, uh, kind of aware I guess of what I'm eating so this is the current state of my room my bed really needs making um, I need to change my sheets um, I just overall just kind of need to tidy my room up. My dressing table is a little bit messy. I've got a wax burner on. I thought I'd actually share with you what wax I'm using. So this is my little wax burner here. I actually got this from Asda um, or my mum did. And then I've got these little tubs here which I have kind of covered in my makeup collection video. So I will leave that link so if you guys want to like a full in depth of all my makeup and my bits. Um, but this one just says Molly's Tea Lights and then Molly's Wax Melts. Um, and my mum made these for us for Christmas this year. Um, she bought Bought the tins from Ikea I believe and then she got some like stick on stickers from Etsy um, and I just love them. This is all my wax. I have a lot. Um, it's pretty much all sassy shot wax because I love sassy wax. I've been using sassy wax now since about August last year um, and I'm literally obsessed. So the one I'm burning at the minute is actually a um, Valentine's Day one that they did. It's a little segment pot called All the Single Ladies and guys it literally smells insane. Like I love this brand so much. I've got so much stuff of it um, and like I said I've supported it for a really really long time I've seen it grow so yeah today's uh, task is to pretty much just kind of sort my room out it shouldn't take too long because my room isn't too bad um, I kind of tidied a little bit up this morning as I was getting ready like my dressing table and stuff it's more my bed that seriously needs sorting out as you guys can probably see I need to change my duvet I've got this really really cute one on at the minute um, that has like bumblebees and it's reversible and I literally get all of my duvet sets from Asda like I swear by Asda duvet I've also got these pillows as well which I've wanted to talk about with you guys for the longest time but I mean when can you talk about pillows in a video that's not a vlog I guess so these um, are actually from Boohoo um, and they are silk pillows so I got mine in like a sheer sort of grey colour because it kind of went with the vibe of my room um, but you can get them in a few different colours I think my sister got like an ivory cream colour for her room um, I bought some for her as well basically just meant to be really really good for your skin and your hair and they're just meant to like just be a bit better for your scalp a little bit more relaxing um now they were super cheap they were literally like six or eight pounds for the set obviously you do have to buy the pillows separately so i bought some pillows from my work actually let's get making this bed i'm gonna do a cool time lapse i've never done that before so that should be fun from b &M. it was literally like seven or eight pounds um, my bedding is from uh, asda and it is a reversible one um i've then got my pillow so this one's from b &M. these two are b &M covers and i already have the cushions um this one was from 
oh god, I want to say B&M possibly as well. And then I've got my teddies. My teddies are literally my pride and joy. I love them. Um, they've all got a little bit of a meaning to them. Um, so this stitch from Disney and this lot so my boyfriend got me for Christmas a couple of years ago. This little um, piglet I won in an arcade with my boyfriend last year when we went away. Um, and then I've got this little one here which I've literally had since I was born and I love it. You know what? I'm a child but I love it. I am literally sweating out. <laughs> Oh my god, isn't doing like your bed in a bloody workout? I'm literally like, I'm hot, it's boiling in here. Bit of a change of plan, I'm actually going to pop out with my mum and dad as well because we need to go buy some dog food for my dog, he's ran out. Um, so that can get me out for a little bit, get some steps in. Um, I've also been living with my Fitbit, like I don't know if you guys have seen like a little sneaky preview of this in my Instagram pictures. Um, but I've literally been living with mine at the minute. Um, so far I've done 3,300 and... Oh no, 3,557 steps. And that's just around the house. So it's like really, really cool. I love using it. So I'm now in the car. We're about to head in to a few towns over actually. That's usually where we get our dog food. It's like this little farm place. Um, but we've also got to go and get some food shopping, which I'm really happy about because you guys remember earlier, I was saying how I need some. So I think I'm just going to get some food while I'm there because we don't really have much in at all. Um, so I'm going to try to get some food shopping, try to get some Instagram content somewhere as well. It's absolutely beautiful out. I don't know if you can see in the background of me so that should be really 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 good fun on um and i didn't actually end up going food shopping in the end although we did go out as you guys would have saw from the car clip um we actually ended up just going for a bit of a drive a little bit of a look around and then we stopped off at the place where we get our milk now we don't actually buy our milk from the shop because i do live in wiltshire i live in the southwest um it is you know lots of fields lots of farms lots of cows and we stopped off to one of the local farms and picked up some milk that we do a lot we got some chocolate milk as well because they did flavoured ones um I tried to get a little bit of a clip for you so you guys could see so I thought that I would unbox with you guys um this absolutely amazing little package that I have been sent so this is from the brand Cookie Dough um, and they do gourmet edible cookie dough. Cookie Dough reached out to me about a couple of weeks ago now asking to do a collaboration um, and of course I said yes. Um, anyone that knows me well knows that I love cookie dough and I love desserts. I did to send me out their little um, like bundle that they do. It's like a four piece bundle and it comes with four different flavours. So we have got the red velvet um, edible cookie dough. We have got the gooey chocolate chip. This one here, this one looks like probably my favourite. This is the Funfetti cake batter. Um, and then they've also sent me the triple chocolate fudge. Four that I would share with you guys on screen doing a live testing video, seeing my opinion. Um, now, guys, you are looking at the pudding cookie dough cake biscuit queen right now. Got my little teaspoon ready. Um, I'm going to leave all their details down below for you guys to check them out. Um, their Instagram, their website, all of their products look absolutely amazing. And oh my god, this smells so good. Let's try it. Oh my god. Guys, that is literally like Ben and Jerry's. Like, if you guys like the Ben and Jerry's um, cookie dough ice cream, that is that. But you've got a massive tub of it. Um, I also find the way that they look inside super satisfying. Um, you know, they've got like little chocolate chips in them. They've all got different colours. It also says here on their website that the chocolate chip gooey cookie dough is actually vegan. So for anyone out there that is vegan, um, that wants to try it and find a really nice vegan snack, I definitely recommend this. Now I've got to say that this is the only flavour that doesn't contain any animal byproducts. Um doesn't contain any dairy so that's really really good okay, the next one we're going to try is the red velvet one now i do love a bit of red velvet i won't lie it's a gorgeous little red color oh i can definitely taste a different taste with this one um the other one was kind of your classic cookie dough taste this one is a lot more like sweet kind of tastes like cake to me kind of remind me obviously because they're cookie dough it kind of reminds me of like play-doh it's super fun can we just like talk about the packaging as well i love that there's individual packagings for each pot next i'm going to be tasting the triple chocolate fudge one this looks insane um i love anything chocolate so i think i'm gonna really really like this one now 
one thing about this that you can do is you can heat them up but because I was trying the individual flavours at the same time, I didn't want to heat them up. I wanted just to kind of try them raw because you can eat them raw. I know that there are some worries, some concerns. Can you eat them raw because of the egg? Can you eat them if you're pregnant? They are perfectly safe. I feel like these be the ultimate treat on their own because they taste amazing. But can you imagine with like pancakes or waffles or something like? <gasps> the final one I'm going to be testing, I saved this one till last because I feel like it could be my favourite. This is the Fun Fetty Cake Batter one. My room smells of cookie dough and I rate it and it's amazing mm. oh my god this one's my favorite oh my god I'm gonna have to go into some more this one tastes amazing this one is my favorite hands down so a few final thoughts on these i firstly just want to say a massive thank you to cookie dough for contacting me uh, and doing this collaboration because honestly doing a collaboration with a cookie dough brand I mean it doesn't get much better than that in my opinion <laughs> I am so, so, so impressed with everything. It tastes amazing. Um, the fact that I've got, you know, technically raw cookie dough, but it's not raw, it's perfectly safe to eat. And I can just have this whenever I want. I can put it in the fridge is amazing. Okay, so we've just started rolling out some of the cookie dough because I'm really interested to see what it's like when it's baked. Um, now, I'm assuming when they say baked, it means that you can make cookies. It might just make them go a little bit firmer, um, but it'll be interesting to see. They look good though, don't they? I'm really impressed with that. Okay, so I'm so aware that the lighting is awful, but I've decided to go out for a dog walk now. I popped this like cool oversized long jacket from Zara because it's getting cold out. You can probably hear downstairs my dog's getting super excited to go, so we're gonna head out and we're gonna go for a walk. Today, honestly guys has been one of those days that's just been super super chill but I love it like today's been like such a Sunday Saturday um but this is pretty much all I do in lockdowns I go on a dog walk I try to go on a longish sort of half an hour to an hour to an hour and a half walk every day try to get my 10,000 steps in um as I'm walking I'm on 8,604 so that'll be interesting we can maybe count when we get home and see how many I've done by that point but it is honestly absolutely beautiful here I love it there's so much wide space and I think it just it really makes you like anyone that lives sort of in this area would know that it just makes you really really appreciate living in the countryside and you know as somebody that's kind of experienced living in a city living in Manchester for three months and then living here I would take her hands down. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. The sun is shining. I feel amazing. I've got my lush little jacket on. I've got my little pup running about and yeah, absolute bliss. So I've just had my takeaway delivered. We decided to go with Chinese. Please, I don't want anyone to judge. It's very controversial that I have mayo there, but I love mayo with my Chinese. So I've got chicken curry, I've got egg fried rice and chips. And then Reese decided to get a chow mein, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna devour this. I'm literally so hungry. It's quite a bit later now. It is currently four minutes past nine. You guys would have just seen my takeaway. That was the last thing I filmed. Um, the takeaway was amazing. I literally like, oh, it was so good. You know, you haven't had takeaway in ages. I just was literally craving the takeaway so much. Um, I used to have a lot of takeaways. I now try to have like one a week, um, which is obviously like my treat meal, my treat night, whatever you want to call it. Me and Reese had a takeaway. Um, we watched Saturday night takeaway, uh, which I love with Aunt and Dad. That was really good fun. We watched that with my mum. Uh, and now I'm going to run myself a bath. Um, I don't tend to have a bath this late, but I'm just really in the mood to relax and just kind of have a nice kind of self-care evening. Tomorrow's when I'll sort of do my fake tan routine. Um, I'll, you know, paint my nails again. I've got a new nail polish to use, wash my hair, that sort of thing. But just for tonight, I just kind of fancy a bath, something chill, put something on my laptop to watch in there. Um, I've got nice fresh bedding to get into as well. Like, I just fancy a nice bath. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to quickly do my skincare routine. Um, I'm going to kind of do like, I don't know if you guys do this. This, but depending on how I feel you know if I'm feeling a bit lazy or tired I have kind of like a shorter skincare routine and then I have my longer skincare routine now because like I said I am going to be having a proper pump evening tomorrow night I've decided um that I'm just 
sort of going to give my skin a bit of a break tonight. I'm going to pop on my moisturiser and take my makeup off, obviously. And I'm also going to pop on a under eye cream. Um, but other than that, I'm not really going to do much with my skin tonight just because... I want to give it a bit of a break tomorrow. I want to give it a proper, proper pamper. To remove my makeup, I'm just taking some micellar water. This is actually Audi micellar water. Um, and I'm literally living for it. It is 99p. You get an absolutely huge bottle. And I think I bought my first bottle sort of like November time last year. Um, and I've still got a little bit left of that bottle. And I've only just dipped into this new one. So I would highly, highly recommend it. It's so much cheaper than the Garnier one. And I think it's really, really good. And then I'm going to pop on my moisturiser. So the moisturiser I use is the Kills Ultra Face Cream. Um, this is actually the like Christmassy edition one. I love it. I like to use my Kills Midnight Recover Eye Cream. Um, now, I never used to use eye creams, but I stumbled across this in TK Maxx actually for only £12 and it's usually like £25. Um, and I, like I said, I love the Kills Face Cream, so I thought that I would really love this. So here is my little sort of skincare drawer, little goodie drawer um, that I keep like fake tan and everything like that in all my face smile bath bombs and then in here is where I keep all my bath bombs all these ones in tissue paper are lush I've got another lush one back there um, and then for my bath this evening I decided to use some of unicorn horn um, which is a bubble bath from lush it literally smells amazing it smells like lavender so I pop that in the bath so that's gonna be super relaxing okay so this is my little setup as you can see the bubble bath has made my water so pink it's literally like using a bath bomb, but with bubbles. I literally love that one. Um, and then, of course, I've got Family Guy on over there as well. I love Family Guy. It's actually recently been put on Disney+. Plus, um, and you can literally watch all the episodes on there, so I love that. Time to turn the lights off. This is where you'll see me for the next half an hour to an hour baths is one of my favorite types of relaxation i love them i think i'm gonna go ahead and conclude today's video and finish it here um i hope you guys enjoyed this video enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up uh, and leave me a comment down below this video is i wouldn't say it's out of my comfort zone but it is incredibly different from what i usually do on my channel and i would really love to kind of open you guys up to my life a little bit more and open you guys up to the things that i do each day and and kind of just give you guys more like a realistic view of me. For the rest of the evening, my plans um, are just to watch some Family Guy. You probably just see it all in the background there still. I might play a little bit of Sims. Um, but overall, I'm just going to have a really, really chilled night. I'm so bloated and full from my Chinese still. I can feel the fact that I'm probably going to go to bed in the next hour, half an hour. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all very, very soon for another video. Bye.